at Iowa, good club. Um, you know, these two guys up here, uh, they represent our program, but an unbelievable group of kids, done everything the right way from the day we started, like 290-some days ago at our first meeting in August. We came up short. Um, it's always hard, you know, when, when that last game or, or there's only one happy team at the end. Um, and I know what that feels like uh, to lose even that last game, but it doesn't matter when it is, it's hard. But our guys have so much to be proud of. Um, we felt like they battled the entire season. We overcame some pretty significant injuries to get where we were. And it was just kind of a mark of our team to go down and all of a sudden it's tied. And I really felt like we were gonna, we were gonna win that game and it just didn't happen for, happen for us, but it sure wasn't cause of lack of, of effort or togetherness. So, you know, on behalf of the coaching staff, I want to thank our team. Uh, they, they really have been a phenomenal group. And I talk to them all the time. It's about the journey. Um, that's what it's about. It's what coaching's about. That's what being on a team is about. Uh, you hope you're the, the last team raising that trophy, but there's so much more to it. And you've been coaching a long time, and you get to see that right in front of your eyes. It's, it's pretty special. So uh, an awesome group. Uh, I hate that the season ended for them, but man, proud of all of them. And at this time, we'll have questions for the student athletes. If you have a question, raise your hand, and we'll bring the microphone to you and state your name and media affiliation, please. Adam Smith with Inside Carolina. Uh, Mac, just the way you guys were able to, to get the game to extra innings, I mean, uh, what sort of jolt did, did Dylan's hit give you guys in the eighth and then your hunger in the ninth? Did you just talk about the way you're able to keep the, the extend the game? Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, it's a true test to uh, our team. You know, every single person is ready uh, at any given moment, and no surprise that King was ready um, for his opportunity there, and he got the job done. Uh, I think that really sparked um, the next two innings for us. Any more questions? Please see that one the at-bat to legit hundred in the ninth. Can you just take us through that? And um, looked like they might have left the pitch, uh, off-speed pitch up, and you were fired up going around the bases, obviously. I mean, the, the, the at-bat and then the, uh, the emotion of, of what you were able to do. Yeah, 2-0, um, uh, curveball slider, whatever it was, um, left it up. And, I mean, just my entire mindset, that whole at-bat was just, any final questions for the student athletes? All right, guys, thank you so much, and just congrats on a great season. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. All right, now we'll get to, to questions with Coach Forbes. Again, if you have a question, raise your hand. We'll get the mic to you. Got the kind of pitching for the most part that you really needed to, to, to give yourself a chance. Yeah, no doubt. I thought our young guys, the second half of the season, they've really improved. And a lot of the new guys like Knapp and Peterson and those guys, they've improved. But you look at a true freshman going out there starting an elimination game, Dalton Pence hadn't pitched in the postseason until this year. Um, I thought everybody did their job. We played good defense. Um, and we did get some big hits. It's just a game of baseball, too. Sometimes you need one of those hits that you sting to fall in. You know, Stokely let up off, I don't know what inning it was, maybe the 11th 
12th with a, with a ball that I, I thought was hit really hard. And, you know, they found a little gap there. Mac almost caught that ball to keep it even. Uh, but I was, I was, I couldn't have been more pleased with our pitching for the most part overall. Um, I know Nat didn't go long, but he still competed his tail off. Hey, Coach, after Friday's game, you talked a little bit about, you know, your offense and just missing, you know, you caught fire late in the game but didn't quite have enough. And then yesterday, you know, you had that three-run inning. Horvath especially, you know, coming through the way he did. Can you just talk about, like, your team not giving up in any moment, especially those hitters? Yeah, I think that's, you know, I hope that's always a trait of North Carolina. Um, and our guys, I think they believe it as well. Uh, you know, you have to play 27 outs. You play the right way. You play as hard as you can. Um, and we talk so much about being able to stay with it when you're down because it's easy when you're ahead or it's easy when it's easy. So that's kind of a, a mark of our program. You know, we did it last year in the regional. We came back through um, and made it to a super regional. You know, it, it's something that if you watched us play, I feel like you would see it. You know, like our guys are going to keep playing until the last out is played. And if you do that and you continue to do that, and that's just the culture, the guys that walk into our program, they know that's just the way it's going to be. And that makes it a, a good environment, a positive environment. Scott, the, uh, earlier in the game, the, the three-run homer they got where you went to Percival, you get the lefty on the lefty matchup, yeah. and then it, I guess it backfires on you. Is that how you saw it? Yeah, I mean, when you hang a breaking, breaking ball like that to a good hitter, you saw his first swing on the good sweeping breaking ball. I think it was a one-two count. Just, you know, and it happens in baseball to the best of them. Personal is a true freshman. He's been really good recently against lefties. We thought Cam was getting tired, and he had put two really good swings on Cam. Um, you know, we had Mo two before we could blink, and unfortunately, Kyle hung it, and he made him pay for it. So. He'll continue to, he'll get better at that as he gets older. Last season, you emerged from the loser's bracket to win it. And, but it looked like, even if you'd have survived this game, it would, you'd have had big pitching challenges the next two days. Yeah, survive in advance, it's the way it goes. You don't worry about that next game, you just try to win this one. And uh, We did have some guys that could have started for us, but you know, when you're in the loser's bracket, you are trying to win the overall tournament, of course. But I'm a firm believer you can't, you can't win the overall tournament if you don't win today. Um, and we had that opportunity. We just could not get it done with that. I mean, we had some big hits, but we didn't have enough of them. A lot of missed opportunities to get with Rose and Sports, which, which has been a trend here lately. Yeah, no doubt. Um, you know, the lineup is what it is uh, without Vance. You're not going to pull a Vance just out of thin air. But I was proud of our guys. Um, you know, you, you come off a sweep against NC State, and then all of a sudden a guy that's played every pitch for us. Um, and that's not to discredit our, our other players that played for Vance. But, you know, he's a game-changing type player, uh, not just offensively but defensively and on the bases. And for our guys to be to overcome losing four in a row without him, understand that, hey, he may not be back and to win those two games in the tournament. Um, and then to, to make a pretty solid run here, I couldn't be more proud of him. This guy's obviously a rough start of the regional, to the regional for Horvath, but the home run yesterday, the clutch stuff today, I mean, did he sort of show who he is here in these last yeah. couple days. Yeah, he's a special kid, man. I, I've watched it unfold in front of my own eyes, just his maturity. And that's what coaching's about, at least it is for me. Um, you know, the world is the world. I do it for different reasons. Um, and the main reason is to watch these guys become men and watch them leave our program better. Um, and I firmly believe if you do that, the winning takes care of itself. What did you think had him emotional? Obviously, I mean, he's a draftable guy, but like, would anything in particular you think? You know, you know, when you know that it probably was your last game in college, it's just the brotherhood and the, you know, I was talking to Andrew Miller not long ago, had a fabulous, and Kyle Seeger, you know, major league careers, but these are their guys. Um, you make friends, but it's more of a business, and you just never forget your time those three years or four years when you're in college, and that's why it hurts so bad. Um, and Mac, you know, it hurts even more. I'm a firm believer when you do everything right 
and you leave it on the field. Um, you know, I told him in the dugouts, I mean, you, you've left our program in a phenomenal spot because he's, he, you know, his first year was my first year as a head coach. He completely bought into everything we were trying to do, and he has led every single day. Um, and that's why our culture is what it is. We have time for one more, I think. It's kind of a bigger picture question, but hey, you know, I know the season ended five minutes ago. But <laughs> I mean, right. if you look part of it, well, if you look at it, it, did is one of the things that was difficult to overcome this year. Did you never really find the right roles for certain arms in your You know, it seemed like you're searching. Yeah, I guess you know, is what I mean. We didn't talk. I mean, people on the outside didn't talk about it. We talked about it internally. Just the unknown going into the season when you lose 300 plus innings and older guys and Schaefer, Gillian, all those guys. So we felt better towards the end. And, and you are right. It just it takes longer when guys aren't pitching great. Um, but man, I look at this pitching staff and I know what we're going to return. I'm extremely excited about it because I feel like a lot of these young guys are going to continue to really improve and be legitimate ACC type arms. All right, Coach, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure working with your program. Yes, absolutely. Thank you, guys. Always a pleasure.